How are you everyone? How is going on? Well, in this video, we're gonna learn how to connect the DJI FPB Remote Controller 2 both to computer and Max and use it with liftoff with everything you need to know from cable management and how to configure it in liftoff, calibrate and so on. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the DJI FPB Remote Controller 2. It's the same controller used for DJI FPB Drone and for DJI Avatar. So, when you buy this controller, you should get basically a cable, if you can see, USB-A to USB-C. Connecting to Windows computer, it's kind of straightforward, but connecting to a Mac computer is a little bit more complex. So, I have an article written here, uh, we're gonna get to that a little bit later, but for now, let's see how we connect to the computer and everything you need to know about this. Okay, so... We simply connect to the controller, press once, each charge, press, second time it turns on. Make sure you don't have your uh, drone um, powered on. And I'm going to connect to an USB port. I think I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, so basically first time when you are connecting this controller to the computer, on the corner down there, you should get like a notification that drivers are being installed. I'm not getting out the notification that should be successful every time. It shouldn't be an issue about that because I already have it connected before and I train in lift off and all the other simulators you can see them on the screen. Plus a few more. <laughs> okay, so it was straightforward and now let's enter lift off. Alrighty, now we are into the lift of simulator and uh, the JFB controller is connected. So let's see what happens if I disconnect it right now. You get a message HD interface disconnected and probably gonna get that now that is connected. Sorry about the overexposure, but basically you get the a notification that your controller is connected or disconnected if you try to turn on or off within Liftoff Simulator. If not, it should be connected without any, any kind of issues on your Windows computer. So let me try to decrease the exposure a little bit so you can see better. Now what, what we're going to do next, we're going to go to Options, we're going to go to Controls and Controller. Now we have the HID interface and for me the controller is recognized as you can see and working very well but if you connect it for the first time it's not gonna be like that so we need to go to calibrate and start calibration this is a mandatory step and follow on screen tutorial right now I'm doing this exactly as they show push throttle up center throttle push the pitch up center it okay roll right center it and yo to the right and now center it after that we're gonna press save Okay, control calibration saved, and now it should work as normal, and you should ha not have any kind of issues. So it's as simple as this. Connect to your computer Windows PC, it's going to install the driver for the first time, it's taking like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. Enter lift off, go to the calibration, calibrate it, and now you can try and lift off. So let's see how is this working. Okay. And we have the drone here, and let's try it, and it's working just perfectly fine. Oh, okay, I crashed it a little bit, doesn't matter. Alrighty. The controller worked just fine. Okay, now let's move on, let's turn this off and let's see how we're gonna do this with a Mac. 
Okay, so I set up my Mac and now connecting the DJI FB remote controller with a Mac, that's gonna be another story. First thing first, you have the other end and USB-A and the Macs have only USB-C. Well, I'll, at least the MacBooks. If you have a mini Mac, that's gonna be a different story. But let's try with the MacBook. So what you're gonna need, first thing first, is gonna be an adapter, USB-A to USB-C, if you're gonna use the original cable. This way, if I connect, it will work, but there's the catch. If you're using any kind of USB-C to USB-C from the DJI FB Remote Controller 2 to the Mac, that's not gonna be recognized, that's not gonna work at all. I try a dozen cables, I try to update it, I try to do absolutely anything possible to make it work, USB-C to USB-C cable, and it's not gonna work at all. So the only way I make it work, at least for myself, it's with the original cable or any kind, other kind of cable, USB-C from the controller to USB-A and with a dangle from A to C. And now let's turn off the remote controller and let's connect it to the Mac. Well, if you're interested about this article to get an in-depth guide on how to connect it with Mac, I'm gonna just link it on the comment description below. But for now, what I wrote in this article is the way you see if it connected your DJI FB controller to the Mac is that you have to go to the system settings, to the general, about, and you're gonna have to go down to system report. I'm gonna just zoom in like this. Once you're in the system report, you go down to USB, and within the USB, USB 3.1 bus, we have the C5. C5 it's actually this controller. So we know that this controller is connected to the Mac because in laptop is also recognized sometimes as C5. If this appears there, that means it's connected to Mac. If that, it doesn't appear there, let's try with the other cable. As we said, USB-C, where is the, this one? And we unplug this one, we connect it back, go to system report, USB and as you can see, it's not there. So we're gonna use only the version with a dangle. If you manage to connect it, you don't have to install any kind of other drivers. Okay, so basically we are in Lifto Simulator on the Mac and now we're gonna do the same thing. We done on the window, we go to option controls and controller and we try to calibrate it if it's required. But as I didn't have this installed on my Mac for the last couple of months, now it's not working as you can see. So we're gonna go to the calibrate, start calibration, and we're gonna do the same thing. Wait, the other way. I don't think it matters. Like before, like the Windows version, we're calibrating it. And we can see now the controller is working just fine with the potato. Look, that's the potato. Mm. Alrighty. I hope this video has been useful for you, that if you need more information, I put those articles linked below the video. So here we go. Thanks guys and hope to see you around.